What's going on guys? Today I continue my Hackintosh hardware series with the Z87X UD5H motherboard from Gigabyte. This board runs on the Z87 platform which means that it also uses Intel's 4th generation Haswell processors. With today's processors getting both smaller and more advanced, they're also putting off more heat. This motherboard puts not only a lot of effort into keeping the processor cool, but also in making the design of the heat sinks just as cool. Gigabyte went with a variety of bright colors for this generation of motherboards, which really adds a nice touch to the finished product. The yellow seen here is no exception. This motherboard uses socket 1150 processors, which is Intel's newest socket. Since the Z87 platform only uses Intel 4th generation processors, this means that there's no backwards compatibility with socket 1155 processors. On the other hand, this motherboard uses very familiar memory configurations. The UD5H has 4 memory slots, each of which can accept up to 8GB sticks of RAM for a maximum of 32GB. It's also worth mentioning that this board can accept memory clocked up to 3000MHz. The UD5H has 3 PCI 1X slots, 3 PCI Express 3.0 slots, as well as a lonely legacy PCI slot. Try saying that 5 times fast. There's only one x16 PCI slot along with one x8 and one x4 slot. The Realtek ALC898 audio chipset is found here, which will work perfectly with a simple kernel extension install for Multibeast. Haswell chipsets add support for 6 SATA 3 ports, up from 2 on previous chipsets. That said, the UD5H here brings 10 thanks to a second Marvell controller. Needless to say, if you need a lot of fast storage drives, this could be the board for you. Flipping back to the rear I.O., this board provides a PS2 port, two USB 3.0 ports, DVI, dual HDMI, and DisplayPort video outputs, optical audio, dual Intel Ethernet ports, four more USB 3.0 ports, and the typical audio outputs. I had no problems at all with any of the video outputs. In fact, I was able to use dual displays across any two ports without hassle. I was also able to get both Ethernet ports working, one using the Atheros extension and the other one using HNAX extension, both found within Multibeast. In addition to its obvious awesomeness, the UD5H has plenty of smaller things that make it a great choice for your Hackintosh. Some of these things include an 8-pin CPU power plug for great overclocking ability, onboard power button, error PCB, dual firewire headers which is great for content producers and isn't as common as you'd think nowadays, a plethora of onboard USB 2.0 and 3.0 headers, and even more. At the end of the day, this is a fantastic motherboard for your Hackintosh. Although the board does have its weaknesses, such as only having one x16 PCI Express slot, it still packs a ton of great features and is very easy to get working with OS X perfectly. For the $200 price tag, I'd say this is one of the most feature-packed boards in its price range. Be sure to let me know your thoughts about Gigabyte's Z87X UD5H motherboard down below in the comments. I'm at CPUKid on Twitter, also be sure to check out RoachTechnology.com, and I hope to see you guys back here very soon.